Jazzy, does anyone play Baraki? They seem like a race that's rarely talked about. Right, it seems like not many people play them, but there are a few people that swear by them, specifically the way they're able to jump around. And I mean, I guess they have the extended vision, which makes them one of the few kind of really solid ranger characters. Because otherwise that extra vision is pretty brutal if you're not able to take advantage of it. So I feel, I feel that definitely a bit of an interesting uh, species to play as, to say the least. RimWorld has been around for so long, you started playing like Alpha 12, but it was playable long before that. Yeah, I remember getting into it fairly early. I got into it really early, and then I got my one of my best friends who was my roommate at the time. I got him into it as well, and so there's always the two of us kind of playing in the background and like, oh, have you, have you had a run where this happened? Or, oh, you wouldn't believe what happened to Jessica. It was brutal. She painted a lovely picture and then got murdered by one of her colony mates. Uh, RimWorld was such a fantastic uh, repository for storytelling. So many fun narratives come out of that game. Remember even meaning to give Baraki a second shot? Your last win with them was when Boots of Running were in the game, which, remo which removed the Baraki weakness for free. Oh wow, yeah. Definitely sounds like it would be a pretty uh, powerful, fairly potent combination there. Jazzy, you haven't messed with any of the slow races. So, are Baraki slow? Because that's one thing that, uh... They're one of the species that I definitely haven't gone very much playtime in. So I've been looking forward to, uh, when we get there in the series, for sure. And exactly, Dr. Pyre. Yeah, she was our best artist, and then Manny and Raccoons ate her arms. Oh, you can't, you can't make this stuff up. And then the best part about that is that will happen, and then a few weeks later, one of your other artists will make a, a statue that depicts the event happening. <laughs> Just to really rub it in and make sure that no one ever forgets the tragedy that was Rebecca losing her arms to those man named raccoons. Let's see, my friend. You are resistant to cold. That's not good enough. You will still die by my cloud. Perfect. And yet, Baraki are slow, but less slow than Naga. Oh, interesting. Well, that's good to know. Really kind of demonstrates just how little I do know. Ah, we're mesmerized by our lovely obsidian statue. Just what I wanted for Christmas. All the new artist sculpture as Venus de Milo. <laughs> like to imagine that Venus de Milo was sculpted as a no-armed person. It's not that wear and tear over the hundreds of years since its inception were uh, what caused the lacking arm. It's actually just how it was from the start, little known fact. And while we're moving to the race's entire weakness, kind of like having a deep worship wor wor slime mom on D1 so they can reach an entire run, no one would do that. Yeah, that's, that's not cool. That's very lame. And... And definitely not something that, that we would do. Not something I would willingly partake in, because I am I am not like that. I am not not cool. I'm very cool, is the thing. I think I got away with it. I don't think any of them know. It was very subtle. Oh geez Louise. Okay. My idea was to put down some clouds. Now please Give me a cloud. Uh, give me... I need clouds. <laughs> Could read a fog scroll, but I was hoping to save those by just forming clouds through the, uh, the natural interactions of fire and whatnot. But apparently, life did not have that in store for us. There we go. Get me the heck out of dodge. Thank you kindly. And that should be just about perfect. Oh gosh, all these kobolds are not doing okay. <laughs> well, back on the road again, shall we? Okay, sir, can you please, like, do something? Fight me or not, I don't really care. Just, uh, there we go. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Oh my gosh, and back at it again. Man, they really don't know what's good for them. They just constantly take their own poison darts to the face, thanks to our reflection. Again, I hate to sound like I'm complaining, because I love it. Absolutely adore it. 
But there's a reason Boots of Running were replaced by Rampaging and why Deep Dwarf got the axe. <laughs> Was that part of the reasoning for the Deep Dwarf cut? I guess, did Deep Dwarfs... Wait a second, are, are Deep Dwarfs not replaced with anything? In point... No, 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 Meteor. Got there eventually. I had an existential crisis where for a moment there I was like, not 27 species? Is that allowed? Can you do that? But no, right, meteorons are around. Perfect. Ignore me, as you were. And Jazzy, always remember your only deep warp you ever played. You were on a plane and you died during the orb run. Never managed to down the orb run again, at least. <laughs> definitely, it doesn't happen very often, but when it does, it, it can definitely get you pretty torqued. I'm trying to think if I've ever died on an orb run. It's gone so close. I don't know, probably the audience knows better than I do if it's happened in this very series. <laughs> I would think not, but it definitely feels like something that uh, could have been shoved down into the deepest recesses of my brain to never see the light of day again. And I've definitely done a lot more orb runs over the course of this series than I ever did on my own before I started streaming it. So it's not saying much when I make the claim that we uh, haven't lost any off-camera on my own. It doesn't exactly say too too much one way or another. Okie dokie. What do I do with you, my friend? Probably at least do something like this, even though it's not going to do much, especially not in this specific situation. Whoopsie daisies. Um, yeah, you're cool. Well, not too shabby. As I should have said, Rock Mage, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Thanks. Again, I'll keep harping on it till the end of time. Say thanks for, uh, for coming on from YouTube. Um, Skeletal Warrior, I do not like you. We can probably take a Skeletal Warrior now. I don't know, do I want to swap over to Staff of the Meek? Do I think my mace is starting to fall off a bit, or are we still, are we still happy? Are we still honky-dory? Ignition is almost back up to being online, so that's pretty solid. And just that little more shield training will go a long way. We potentially even could put on fire magic in the background. Or I guess maybe spellcasting. Let's just put in some uh, some base level shenanigans there. Is it a good idea to just walk past the skeletal warrior and not deal with them? Not even a little bit. And yet here we are. Okay. Hello, my, my elven pal. I honestly feel kind of sorry for you. <laughs> no shot whatsoever. You as well can... Uh, make like the rest and get absolutely obliterated by your own shots there, hoisted by your own petard. Perfect. Um, Simulacrum Centaur Warrior could be rough, but I'm hoping and am correct in doing so that it won't be too bad. Fantastic. Let's definitely just blast this elf here real quick. Hello, my friend. Not too shabby. Oh, this is D15. Oh, wow. So we're actually pretty much through regular dungeon. Well, let's get my AC back up before we try and murder them again with their own reflected arrows. Love to see it. That's where Ring of Evasion can probably go. And perfect. Ooh, we did get a couple of the really fun teleportation abilities, so we might have to get some of those online, at least in the late stages of the game. So they do get pretty wacky and wild. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this is not ideal. I'm gonna go with a slouch because that will do ridiculous sums of damage to all of our new friends. Fantastic. Then get me the heck out of dodge. Glad I thought about that one for a second though because slouch was not the first plan that came to mind. <laughs> And was definitely the best plan. Uh, I will take this step though for safety. I feel like my own clouds are largely going to do more damage than anything else. And you fool. 
feel feels wrong sometimes abusing the AI, but here we are, and I wouldn't have it any other way. Definitely blast yourself. Ooh, Ghost Moth, after our clouds are up, is exactly what we could hope for. Don't change into something else, though. You never know with shapeshifters. <laughs> Very easily could have gone from 0 to 60 in no time flat. Gosh, I'm just trying to chase down all my new friends, but they keep they keep running away. I don't know what it is about me. It could be the fact that I'm a, a scary snacky boy, but I'm also a very cute little snacky boy, if you ask me. And perfect. Oh, I guess you're st you're still alive. How about that? Who knew? Couldn't see you there, my my orc friend. But there we have it. Not too shabby. And definitely just heal up here. We're getting to the point where I'm going to have to make a, a bit of a decision as to where the heck we're going in life and in the video game. Manual of Stapes. So if I do want to switch over to the, the Staff of the Meek here, which I feel probably is best utilized in the early game, but still could be nice. I mean, St. Lee themselves used it, so how bad could it possibly be? Jeez, oh, sorry for the, the bonk. And ideally, we could find something like the elemental staff in the future. Wouldn't that be lovely? That would definitely uh, pickle my pickle, so to speak. And definitely want to make room for the tin of tremor stones here. So what can we ditch? I guess ring of flight? Being slowed by water doesn't matter that much in terms of like, oh, can I run away in Swamper or not? Because no matter what, the answer is just no, I cannot. I could kind of abuse deep water, I guess. So I may live to regret that yet, but for the time being, I'm actually feeling A-OK. -okay. And Enchant Weapon can also just go on the floor for the time being and can come back at a later date. Perfect. Again, not asking for much, just the staff elements, right? It's only like the best on Randart in the entire game in terms of a nice balance between offensive and defensive capabilities, you know? Like, basically nothing. It's basically free. Um, so if you could be so kind, I definitely would not mind. Ah, that's gonna be a pain in the butt. There goes my icy armor. Oh, dang reason I came down here in the first place. Perfect. Ooh, Cataplebis. That's a wee bit interesting. I think I can kill you. Yeah, with some frozen ramparts to uh, wet your whistle. Fantastic. And we have decent willpower here. Okay, just two pips. So I think I will change out from cold resistance to willpower so we don't immediately get sent to the abyss by this son of a gun right here. Hello, sir. Okay. Oh, you know, I thought you just died immediately, but you did blink. That makes a certain amount of sense. And you, my friend, shouldn't be too much trouble. And not too shabby. We're getting really close to our... Uh, our shields being trained up enough that we won't have any disadvantages on that side of things as well. So that is fantastic. Uh, sir, if you could please just stick to your area. Appreciate it. Perfect. Oh my gosh, did you ever make some ground? Look how far in one step. Which to be fair steps probably okay, I thought they actually took three. 30 full aughts. But in 2.8 aughts, Centaur can go from there to there. Three, four tiles. Good to know. Again, there's no shot in this existence or any other that we outrun one of those sons of guns if that ever becomes the uh the issue at hand but we should be fine at the very least we're still wandering around with a lovely 24 armor when we have Ozakubu's out so pretty decent character here in terms of offensive and defensive mix love to see it we haven't even used ignition yet but i i do see it down to 11 percent don't worry don't you doubt ignition i see you we'll get there one day 
Perfect. If we constrict the boulder beetles, they get well and thoroughly trounced. Definitely am happy to see that. And similarly, spiders should go down. Fantastic. Is now the time to discover how we fare in this encounter? Okay, a little bit rough, but we do make it through in one piece. That means I can fairly safely explore. I think we did skip part of a floor earlier here. But that'll be nice. Let's just immediately make our way up, just glancing at the map every time. Ah, well, this isn't the thing I was thinking of, but sure. We'll take care of this final remaining area real quick. Ooh, it's a decent little chunk of exploration for us to take part in as well. Who knows what we could find. Man. I guess that's fine. Let's box a beast real quick. Let's bring on the cold, even though it does nothing against all of our freezing wraith friends. And Death Knight has got to go. I mean, oh gosh, this Skeletal Warrior has definitely got to go as well, don't get me wrong. Not ideal scenario, no matter how you cut it here. I probably should have just read a teleport, our only teleport, I might add. A bit earlier. Can you see invisible? Freezing rates can see invisible. You cannot though. You're a heavy chunk of change. Sorry for flashing between these, but I'm not actually reading the important bits. Yeah, decent amount of damage from their freezing wraiths for sure, so I don't feel super comfortable by any stretch. A single slouch doesn't save us here, but we could do something like temporal distortion or step from time. Set from time heals us back up at the very least. And hopefully some of these buddies will go do their own thing, as it were. I think we are going to try it. Ooh, we do fail it. 16% failure. There we go. Step out from the flow of time. And by the, the time we return, things have cleared up a wee bit. Not sure if they've cleared up enough as we immediately find some new friends, but I'm sure we'll be fine. Very least, if we get cornered here again, we can dig ourselves a nice little kill hole <laughs> and live out our lives in peace and harmony. Oh, hello, doggo. Yeah, come lay back down. Come on. Oh, yeah. Limp over there. Oh, my poor sweetie. I can't even use you for free internet points today because you're too sick and hurt my poor baby what a sweetie well you'll know what she looks like now you can imagine her just being the cutest dang thing here only limping now and <laughs> do we have dispel dead? not that it helps us now and i don't believe we do do quick check i haven't been paying that much attention uh, attention rather to the spells as they came in but no it does not look like it oh we can't learn discord interesting how else will we chat with our friends on the internet? Who's to say? Which actually reminds is Skype still around? I wouldn't be surprised if it's still used maybe in other countries, but in North America, does anyone use Skype? Do any of you use Skype anymore? Or is that fully fallen by the wayside now? So I feel like I haven't even heard pray tell of it. Ever since Zoom very much kind of took over the, uh, peer-to-peer -peer speaking space over the course of COVID. And then, of course, Discord has always been there and always will be there in terms of the more kind of gamer-centric communities. But, huh. How about that Skype? Discord.gg. Apparently so. But there we go. That's much more manageable to deal with these sons of guns one at a time. Love to see it. In fact, you, sir, if you could come right my way. Oh my gosh. Okay, this time around, it went way worse. So I'm going to just slouch you out of this plane of existence. And there we go. Skype kind of still exists. It's mostly been consumed by Microsoft Teams, but it's still a consumer app on phone stores. Oh, really? So there is there a link between Teams and Skype? Because definitely in the professional world, I feel like I've used Teams more often than any other peer-to-peer -peer messaging service.
but I didn't realize that some of Skype's stuff got folded into that. That's very interesting. But anywho, let's, I guess, get back on the road. We were just heading upstairs before that nightmare all transpired. Ah, and here's the floor we haven't explored. Perfect. Microsoft bought Skype and then cannibalized it for Teams. Oh, okay, that makes so much sense. <laughs> How Skype suddenly dropped off and just never hear about it anymore. But definitely if it's a, a buyout rebranding kind of situation, that makes sense. It used to be Skype and Skype for business. Okay, so now it's just... I'm trying to think. Now it would just be Skype and Skype for business got transitioned into Teams. Interesting. Jeez, those freezing rates, you never know how that fight's going to go, apparently. It's the swingiest thing we've ever had to deal with on this character, to say the least. But there we go. Now we've officially cleared out all of the main dungeon floors. So I guess it's time to head somewhere else. Swamp is slightly terrifying, but Spider has the ghost moth right at the entrance. Hmm. Which of those is worse? Uh, worse, rather. I feel like if we can just take care of this ghost moth, the majority of spiders are gonna die real quick. So let's try it out. I just need to absolutely fill the air with clouds here before all my magic gets taken away. I'm tempted to go with armor. Or actually, slouch cost mana. Slouch me one time. Okay, nice, wolf spider's down. Then I can actually take you upstairs, my friend. And just murder you in hand to hand. Perfect, there we go. And now shields is trained up to nine, so I think we're doing fairly good. Oh, okay, we're still slowed by our insufficient shield skill. Dang it, I thought nine could do it for uh, ourselves here. If you have invis ghost moths can't see you that's a really good hint to keep in mind for the future for sure because i've had a couple characters that have struggled prohibitively with the uh the ghost moths completely ruining my life so definitely a good tip thanks rubbery um and what was i just thinking about before my brain decided to drop everything Potentially just seeing where Ignition was sitting and right what skills we wanted to train. We got there eventually. Heck yeah. Um, I would like Ignition to be slightly more castable than that, so that's between shields or fire magic. I guess there's a lot of upper end on the power for Ignition, so let's just go with some good old fashioned fire magic. In fact, that can come up to 20 and that shouldn't be too big of a deal. And invocations while we're at it. Bring it up to 11 and see where that leaves us on the failure rate of Step From Time, because in the future we'd like that to be an instant get out of jail free card and not a oh gosh, hopefully this works, otherwise I'm dead card. And let's just keep you fully absorbed in that that cloud, my friend. And otherwise should be fantastic, perfect. Pleasure to meet you, Trinsky and Chad. You followed and we'll see you again later. Sure, best wishes for all and a great week. You as well, Rock Mage. Thanks again for, for swinging on by and saying hello. I very much appreciate it. And yeah, I hope the rest of your week is, is absolutely brilliant. Lovely to see you. Definitely walk back here for the quick heal. I guess it doesn't end up being too big of a deal one way or another, but always better safe. Sorry, safe, sorry, that's not how that goes. Better safe than sorry, there we go. Let's make sure we're uh, we're speaking our words. Seeing as how that's the only real form of communication we got going. Um, if all of you wanna keep just jumping back into the ice clouds, I really don't mind. Perfect. Well done, well done squad. Absolutely slaying it out there. Um, don't even know where this final jumping spider went. There she is, okie dokie. And not too shabby. So yeah, we have managed to break our way into Spider here, which was definitely the scariest part of this whole ordeal. So I'm feeling pretty comfortable with that, pretty happy across the board. And we'll see if I come to regret it, but ooh, Phantom Mirror. Don't mind if I do. What else can I drop? Oh, we have Berserk Potions again. Get out of here. 
and not too shabby. I almost feel bad for these spiders sometimes. I guess, really, I feel bad for all of these monsters sometimes when they're just wandering about, you know, trying to live their best life and they don't even know where the heck the hits are coming from. It's kind of sad, honestly. Oh my gosh, are you just gonna stand there? So that spider, apparently smarter than a kobold. Good to know. Good to know. Because kobolds honestly just walk straight into my business all the time. Not a whole lot going on up there. Sorry to all you kobolds out there watching. Truth hurts. Well, let's definitely get up everything for one of those fancy sons of guns, but otherwise things are looking fairly solid across the board here. If the rest of the spider goes anything like this, which it should, there's always slouch in our back pocket for if it goes worse than this as well. So that's something to keep in mind at the very least. And I think that we should be uh, fairly solid as we make our way through this section of the game. That's the dream at least. Oh me oh my. These jumping spiders are more annoying than anything else. Not really that much of a threat, but in the rear to save the least. Oh, I miscast it. Whoops, daisies. Let's try that again. Ooh, and I do unfortunately have to get myself out of there. I was hoping that we wouldn't get hit by all of the optional cloud locations, but hey, it is what it is. And obviously still not exactly the end of the world, so I shouldn't complain. There's this fancy little vault that terrifies me. Hopefully stop myself from accidentally going into it. No, okay, there is the room door. That's not too bad. No shot do I open that of my own volition. At least not anytime soon. Never say never and all that. But, uh, probably never. <laughs> As is usually the case with those, uh, little vault areas. And let's definitely just crowd the ever-living crap out of this son of a gun. There we go. Perfect. And onwards we go. Ooh, Entropy Weaver definitely packs a little bit of a wallop, especially when they get the minus eight crow down. Jeez Louise, get me the heck out of dodge as soon as possible. And it is what it is, I guess, but there we have it. Much better. Oh, come on. Stop this madness. There we go. Not too shabby. And Frozen Ramparts alone is pretty much enough to deal with the majority of these sons of guns, I feel. Like, don't get me wrong, it helps to have something like Freeze Cloud, but not too bad at the end of the day. Again, is my, my affliction of burr pickups just the most disgusting blend of bodily functions you ain't ever did see. Ooh, and we're confused. Fortunately, we have a lot of Kirin potions, so we can get up our frozen armor and then ramparts our way through the rest of these sons of guns, and that's much better. Fantastic. Amnesia scroll can go on the ground for now. We can always pick those up when we need them. And... Huh. Arachne's kind of scary, but also potentially manageable. Let's not, if and or but about it, let's just leave you alone for the time being here. We can always come back later to, to deal with you, as it were. Okay, we definitely need to just absolutely fill the air with ice clouds as soon as possible here. Specifically looking at these Meliai. Do not trust a Meliai as far as you can throw them. Ah. And then of course there were more secret melee on their way through. Anyone else hiding in the safety, the perceived safety of beyond my ice clouds? As I tell you, it will not save you. You're better off just coming out and saying hello with a friendly face. And then maybe we can just make skip our way through the rest of the dungeon together. Wouldn't that be lovely? Wouldn't that be nice? Okay, down to Spider 3 already, just blitzing our way through the S-branch here. Now that we're, we're past that slightly rough 
beginning section. And again, I'm happy to see it because I had a suspicion that this is how it would go, but you never know if your suspicions will actually come to bear the way you intend or if everything will go horribly wrong extremely suddenly, so glad to see it. If we can kill everyone before we kill the pharaoh ant, we don't have to deal with simulacrums. Or we have to deal with simulacrums, and that's cool too. You know what? No shot do I get away from this. I think I just bring in an Assyrian clone of my own. I need the defense of this. Oh, you have abjuration, don't you? Gosh darn it. You mean bees and bee people aren't spiders? Right? It just makes no sense. Why are they even here? I'm complaining to your managers, DCSS. But okie dokie. Is there any reason for me to stick around in this fight? I mean, one slouch gets rid of most of the spiders, a second slouch gets rid of all the simulacrums, and then it's just me and Asterion dancing. And I, I think I can potentially take Asterion. I hit above my weight class. Especially pretty injured from slouch. Let's try it out. Decent chunk of change to start off. Murder off everything else. Definitely put up some clouds, get some acid thrown into the mix. Oh! Tit for tat, I see. Um, huh. I guess that's your major destruction, but <laughs> dang it. That's, that's a little terrifying. No longer have our ability to step from time or anything to that extent, so we do need to be slightly careful how we play this. Can't use a fear scroll on Asterion either. But let's see, Asterion also probably has, what, like, 40 health? Something like that, about a third left? I can deal 40 damage pretty quick, especially since you're already in my Ice Cloud. Can't ignite. Could just Ice Blast ya. Let's see. We went down, like, 30 health? And you're going to make a simulacrum when you get out, or when you die. I think I do need to get out of this ice cloud. I was hoping not to use a blink scroll here whatsoever, but I think I have to play it slightly safe as we feel a bit more experienced. Okay, so Sarion waited just long enough for me to panic and use a consumable before folding like a piece of paper. <laughs> Perfect. Thanks, buddy. I, I appreciate it. Wait, what? Yes. I, I thought I said yes. There we go. Wow, I do a lot of damage. That hurts a lot. Don't stand in your own clouds, folks. Good to know for the future. And we've reached level 17. Fantastic. We're just, again, blitzing our way through here. Ooh, poison and held. Hold me closer, Tony Danza. Um, hmm. So what do you do? You cause paralysis or slowing if any damage is dealt. Interesting. This is where it would have been nice to have something like a radiate. I guess I have ignition. Which is actually decent damage here. I think we gotta try it out. And we do get the kill. Then if I safely and very carefully walk away. I can hopefully make it back to this stairwell. You know, it's saying all these spiders are in view, but I didn't see anything, but okay, there we go. Now they're coming out of the woodwork here. Let's just hide. Hide like the brave little snake boy we are, and then we'll get back on the road here. Fantastic. So yeah, we did use a blinking scroll, which again, unfortunately was a wee bit of a waste. I'm still feeling pretty, pretty happy across the board here. Do I think that that will hit me? I have decent shielding. No, I should probably play it, play it a little bit safer here and hide from the orb destruction. Never know when it's just gonna high roll you and get that 90 damage off in one pop. So. Definitely feel alright with that decision at the end of the day. And wow, is that already the end? Spider 3? Holy moly. 
Man, I keep talking about how we're blitzing through, but that was still way faster than I expected.